वर्णिवे शर्मणीय दर्शन मंदहासुचिराजनाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय सुप्रीम ऑल माइट योर बिलउड घनश्याम महाराज पात में कठोर लिब्रेशन पूजे पात गुरु जन ऑल ऑफ डिवोटिस जय स्वामी नारायण Sri Ji Maharaj was sitting in the darbar of Surakhachar in Loya, and in front of many santos and devotees, Bhagwan Swami and himself, while giving the answer of the question asked by two santos in the sabha, Bhagwan Swami and himself narrated the stories of different devotees' life, and after explaining many stories. Maharaj himself narrated the stories of Krishna ji and Mohan ji from the village of Mankua, Kutch. Krishna ji and Mohan ji had been very close friends since childhood. Bhagwan Swami was talking about these two devotees who <coughs> who were not a uh, child. Uh, I mean. They were uh, at that time. What Bhagwan Swami was explaining the story. In the story, they were not a child, but instead they they are even they freshly married. So, but Krishna ji and Mulji they had been very close friends since childhood, and their choice, their hobby, they all mostly similar. Even they would wear the same clothes. had the same likes were both equally devout and harbor the same detachment from the worldly pleasures they were both the pride of mankua meaning in the whole village their reputation they are like totally different from the others once a group of some devotees from kach region they proceed towards garuda for darshan of maharaj and attending a festival in garuda so krishna ji also Krishna ji also went there Garuda with the group of devotee, and he experienced that this is Bhagwan himself. Before attending Garuda, Krishna ji did not believe that Swami Narayan is Bhagwan, but he was such a mumuk, so he was such a seeker that he always he and Mulji both they both have such an intense desire to meet Bhagwan that they both both have decided and they both have. uh give a promise to each other that whoever first attain bhagwan he had to inform the others so krishna ji as he did darshan of maharaj he experienced inner peace and even from within someone say this is bhagwan this is bhagwan so in his heart he realized that now swami narayan is a true bhagwan and after coming back to mankua he first approach mulji and he inform mulji i meet bhagwan then mulji ask him how is it true otherwise if the bhagwan is true then you are not there uh, you are not here you have to stay there and uh, otherwise you are not such a duty who stay with bhagwan then krishna ji say no that is not the thing i uh, actually i came back here to inform you according to our promise so let we go let we go both there and throughout our life we stay there with bhagwan and dedicated our life for the service of bhagwan so deciding this the both once again after many months again the group of devotees they all they went to garuda and after arriving garuda as a group of devotees and uh, mulji and krishna ji they arrived in garuda they felt peace within 
and they had decided to surrender at the feet of Sahajan and Swami, meaning Swami Narayan Bhagwan. And so when the others in the group left Garuda, the two friends stayed behind. Meaning after getting darshan and after attending the festival, the other group of devotees, they returned from the Garuda for Mankua. But these two devotees, Krishnaji and Murja, as they have decided to stay there with Bhagwan, so they did not return from Garuda. And they stay there with Bhagwan. After a few days, Maharaj received a letter <coughs> from the relatives of Krishna Janmolji. And the Maharaj received letters from their families urging him to send back their sons. Uh, Maharaj called them, sold them the letters and declared, I cannot allow you to stay here. Both of you must have to go home. So this is what Maharaj declaration. When Maharaj gave those letters to Krishna Janmulji, see, this is your, uh, this is the letters from your families. So please, you have to go there with your family. I do not allow you to stay here with me, because without their permission, if you stay here, then they, they will, be, uh, they will make any kind of disturbance for even us as well as they create some problems for us and that is why you have to go. The two friends pleaded earnestly with Maharaj to allow them to stay but to no avail. As they both desired to become a son but their parents they did not agree and that is why they wrote a letter to Maharaj please send back their sons to their home and as Maharaj commanded both of them to go to their home, and that is why they both, Krishnaji and Murji, they pleaded Maharaj, Maharaj, please, we want to become a son. We do not want to go home. We do not want to enjoy the, uh, this worldly happiness. We want to sacrifice all those behind, and we want to worship throughout our life. And we want to show you. But Maharaj did not agree with their request. And eventually the two friends, rejected and heartbroken, left for home. But on the way, they arrived at the village of Vanthali. There was many devotees, most of the whole village. Bhagwan Swaminan's devotees were lived there. And that is why a devotee by the name of Lada Sutha lived here. And both of youths took up employment here. And they work hard and at the same time their devotion to God and detachment from the world become profound. So for the six months they both did not go back to their home but instead they stay in the way in the village of Vantli and uh, they work in the farm of Lada Sutar and they work hard, very hard. And for six months, they earn 40 rupees. And after some, t uh, at the time, as M Maharaj uh, commanded both of them to go there to home, so Maharaj uh, understood they both. So Maharaj was under the impression that they were at home. And on the other hand, their relatives thought that the two friends were still with Maharaj. <coughs> but since nobody knew their whereabouts, a search was launched. So now, as they both not in their home back after writing letter to Maharaj, so the family members of Krishna and Mulji, they decided to go there in Garuda for searching Krishna and Mulji. So they both, uh, the family members of Krishna and Mulji, they arrived in Garuda and they asked Maharaj, Maharaj, where is our sons? But they did not found anywhere. Maharaj said, I have commanded them both to go home. So they might your might at your home. But uh, they said, no Maharaj, this is six to eight month passed and still we did not get our sons back at home. 
then after some uh, then Maharaj said okay stay for some more time if they anywhere else then they will become in a uh, nearest festival to have my darshan and according to Bhagwan's desire that uh, happen uh, so eventually they both came for Maharaj darshan during a festival they bowed and offered 40 rupees to Maharaj seeing them Maharaj asked where have you two been all this time? Your families have been looking for you everywhere. Maharaj even scolded them that as I commanded you to go to your home and you have you have to go there to your at your home and why you didn't go to your home? Then and where this time where did you stay? Then Munchi said, Maharaj, we were staying at Lada Sudar in Wantli, and but now we don't want to go back to our home because we want to become a son. We want to renounce the world and worship God throughout our life. Then Maharaj says, if that is what you want to do, then go to your parents and bring their written consent. Then Maharaj said, it's okay. If you really want to become a son, then you have to go first at your home. They are, wa they are really waiting for you. So go there at home and first meet your parents and after convince, convincing them, all of them, and after getting written permission or we can say a uh, letter of permission to become a son, and after that, with a letter, when you will come back, I will make you a son. Then, as Maharaj commanded to go back and bring their written consent, the two friends took leave of Maharaj and hurried home. They both requested their parents' consent to become sadhus, but neither was successful. Krishnaji and Murji, they both arrived in Mankua. They both asked permission to, from their family members, but not Krishnaji or neither Murji. They did get the permission from their parents. And they console each other and strengthen their spirit of detachment in due time. And meanwhile, Maharaj arrived in Mankua and Krishnaji and Mulji were overjoyed by his arrival. As Krishnaji and Mulji, they did not get a permission from their family members. And so what to do? Both in the farm, they both meet each other and they both talk regarding Bhagwan as well as to strengthen. They were talking each other in such a way that their, their thought of detachment or we can say spirit of detachment becomes strengthened. And as after some days passed, Maharaj also arrived in Mankua. So they both were overjoyed, meaning they both were become happy as they, get, they, they both have a chance to have a darshan of Maharaj. And Two days passed, Maharaj was presiding over an assembly outside the house of Radhabhai Darbar. So Maharaj was staying in the Dar uh, in house of Radhabhai. He was the Darbar, meaning the chief of the village. So Maharaj also conducting assembly in his house. And when the discourse sat started, Maharaj looked a pair of scissors and declared, those of you who are really my devotees come here. Today I want to initiate you all into the sadhu fold. So in the sabha, in, a, in an assembly, Maharaj declared, I have this pair of scissors and I want to become all of you sadhu. So please come one after one. I want to make all of you sadhu. Everyone in the assembly said I missed as in the assembly, as if so, suppose you came here in Loyadham Mandir and Guruji sat on 
uh, on the stage and with a pair of scissors, Guruji declared that whoever a true devotee of Bhagwan and whoever want to serve Bhagwan or whoever want to worship Bhagwan throughout their life and uh, want to dedicate their life for Bhagwan, then please come one after one. I want to make all of you sadhu right now. Then even those who are behaving in such a way that they are, are really true devotees, they cannot afford to come on the stage to become a sant. So in the same way, everyone in the assembly said I missed. Some of the, some of the least devoted sneaked away from the assembly. Even those who remained talked amongst themselves, saying, Today Maharaj is in a determined mood, so we too should be careful. But the surprising thing was that at, the, uh, at this time, Krishna and Mulji, both, uh, who were determined to renounce, were working in their fields. When they returned, someone warned them, Don't go for Maharaj Darshan today, otherwise he will make you sadhus. The two looked at each other. This was their chance. They rushed to Maharaj, fell at his feet and requested Maharaj, make us sadhus. Then Maharaj says, you cannot become sadhus like that. It is a very difficult life. Then Maharaj warned them, you will not get food. Even the bhavas will <coughs> persecute you and you will have to tolerate the extremes of heat and cold weather. You will have harassed to no end and so go away and think it over. So all kind of sadhu's life is nothing but the sufferings and tolerance. The life full of tolerance, that is the life of a sadhu. So if you want to become sadhu, if you want, if you are really ready, to tolerate the heat and cold, if you're really ready to tolerate the even beatings of bhavas, or even if you are really want to become a son, you have to remain without food and water for many days. Maybe you have to walk from one village to another. So this is what the condition of our sadhu's life. So if you really want to become a sadhu, then go for a while outside from here and think over again and again. Then the two friends went to the outskirts of the village and told themselves, if you did not worship God in this world, then will you be able to do so if you are born as a dog, donkey or sheep or monkey? Without worshipping God, you will have to roam about in the cycle of births and deaths. You will assume different forms and what guarantee is there that you will get food, clothing or shelter then? So resolve this time to dedicate this one life to God and you will be rewarded with everlasting peace and happiness in the divine abode of Book One. So, oh mind, what do you want to do? To roam about in the cycle of birth and death or to claim the divine bliss of Akshardham? Both Krishna and Murji arrived at the same conclusion and declared, we want to please Maharaj. So they both went to outside from the village and uh, at the outskirts of the village, they both thinking. And while thinking, they both, not actually thinking, but they both were and actually they both were uh, giving a message to themselves that if you do not worship Bhagwan in this human life, then the lives of dog, donkey, monkey, or other animals, or any other, other species rather than the human life, no one can worship Bhagwan except human. And that is why we have a chance to worship Bhagwan. So, all this worldly enjoyment and the other pleasuring objects we have enjoyed many times pre in our previous births. And if we do not worship God in this life, then again we have to enjoy this worldly enjoyment 
in our future other lives so we do not want to waste our time and we have to worship bhagwan in our in this human life explaining our thinking in their mind in this way they again came back to bhagwan and they as they reach into maharaj and they say oh our mind says yes our mind is ready to tolerate all kind of hardships which santos have to suffer from and now we request you to comply with this krishna ji untied the strings of his upper garment while murji just wrapped his upper garment off saying i would not be i won't be needing this anymore so this is what their resolve that as krishna ji tried to untie the string of their upper clothes at that time such was the clothes just as today there there is a zipper at the time there is no zipper or nothing but uh, the string of a cloth so krishna ji tried to uh, untie the strings of his upper garments and mul ji he had too much uh, strong resolve to become a sadhu and that is why he said i did not want this anymore and so he just tear out tear off the, his clothes and after that they both requested to maharaj maharaj please make us a sadhu then maharaj was pleased and said you have already become brahmansas this pleased them but it was maharaj's next statement that stunned the two maharaj as shows the his pleasure upon both of these krishna ji and mul ji and maharaj said now as you have this much understanding and this much resolve to become a sant so now you are already become a sant without uh without uh, wearing the saffron clothes you are now a sadhu but the next maharaj says it is my instru- my instruction to you both that you stay at home with your wives it was as if the thunderbolt had pierced their hearts maharaj was testing them to the extreme now maharaj was to taste more for uh, both krishna ji and mulji and that is why maharaj said now it is my command for you both that you have to stay at your home with your wives you do not want uh, you do not need to become a sadhu you do not need to become a renunciant and the both it's like a uh, something happened to one and as one has a, a immense desire to do something and as he was allowed to do that and as he was doing he was just started to doing that task and immediately someone stopped them and say okay this is done you do not need to do more then how he was feeling in the same way krishna ji and murji they both were disappointed as maharaj commanded them to go their home and stay with their wives but as command of maharaj is his command no one is greater than maharaj no one uh, no one is master of maharaj maharaj is the master so everyone has to obey his command and krishna ji and mulji they do they both did not have any other option and that is why they both went back to their home now mara departed from the mankua the now what was the situation of krishna ji and mulji the towns for ridicule the two even friends relatives and their wives ridicule them twice now maharaj has sent them back this is the second time as maharaj rejected both of them they both thought we are losing valuable time since life is unpredictable anything may happen at any time so we should serve maharaj as much as we can we are fortunate to have his company which is extremely rare to attain 
we should ourselves break all our attachment for the world. So they both were thinking in their mind that now as we are rejected even from Maharaj second time, so now we have to do something. This is our really a chance to worship Bhagwan. Otherwise in other lives, meaning in other lives rather than the human life, one cannot worship Bhagwan in a life of animals or birds or insects, one cannot worship Bhagwan. And that is why, even more than that, even in human lives also, our life is unpredictable, meaning what will happen, we don't know. So anything may happen at any time, even while working in the farm or while traveling through the cart or the horse. We may fall down and we may die at any time. So before anything happened to us, we have to worship Bhagwan. So after, uh, after thinking again and again in their mind in this way, with this result, the both pleaded to their wives, please give us permission to become a son. We do not want to stay with here. We do not want to engage ourselves in this social life. Please. But the wives of both Krishna and Muji, they did not agree. Finally, they both castrated themselves. Now, after that, after that event, the wives of Krishna and Muji, they both grant permission to become a son. Now we do not need you anymore, they say to Krishna Jan Mulji. And now after that, Krishna Jan Mulji did not stay at their home. And they stayed to the devotee's home in Adabai's Darbar. As Maharaj received this shocking news and wrote a letter instructing others, Maharaj wanted to taste the result even more. Maharaj instructed in the later, these two have behaved unacceptably, so they should be totally ignored. Nobody should even talk with them or even serve them in any way. When Adabhai Darbar read Maharaj later, he declared, I'll serve them. Even if Maharaj is not happy about it, then I'll ask for his forgiveness, but I'll serve both of them. So thus together with Krishna Janmulji, everyone treated Adabai as an outcast as well. <coughs> Undeter Adabai sold the two friends and helped them recover fully. When the three attended the satsang discourses, others would forcefully throw them out. Still they did Still, they would sit happily on the dusty roads outside and listen to discourses and devotional songs happily. As according to the Maharaj's command, everyone stopped to talk with Krishnaji, Mulji and as well as Adabai also, because Adabai was helping them. And now, in the village, Mankua, whenever they have the assembly, whenever any santo would come in the village, and as there was an assembly, so Adabai Darbar and Krishna Jan Mulji, they all three together went to the assembly to attend the assembly, uh, listen to discourses and devotional songs from Santo. The other devotees, they become unhappy. And even more than that, they, others will for, for, forcefully throw them out. And they have to see it outside from the assembly. But as they have intense desire to worship Bhagwan, so they even tolerate insults, such kind of insults from the other devotees. And they sat outside from the assembly and they listen happily discourses and devotional songs from Santo. So they have to tolerate these kind of insults many uh, for many days and 
eventually other by reason we are sitting in the middle of the road even dogs aren't chased away from here are we inferior than even to the dogs after tolerating much ridicule insult and physical abuse krishna jan mulji themselves now decided to become sons without the permission of maharaj krishna jan mulji once they both save their heads and even change their clothes they themselves wear the saffron clothes like a son and they become a son and after that they left for gadara as they both arrived in gadara maharaj recognized them but he pretended not to know them and asked whose pramhansa are you then they both replied we are yours maharaj then maharaj said what are your names then they both replied maharaj what is in names names are but only temporary then maharaj said oh you attain this much knowledge yourselves and maharaj called his parsas and maharaj instructed to him remove these two from here thus the parsas pushed the two out of the darbar even they castrated themselves and they themselves become sons towards the bhagwan and they arrived in gadara still maharaj decided to check their renounce their, uh, their renounce or we can say their test their resolve towards the bhagwan and so maharaj ordered one of his parsar to push them out from the village and so krishna jain mulji camped on the opposite side of the river gela and sung bhajans without taking food and water at night approach as night approach only their heart felt singing could be heard in the silence maharaj suddenly sat up on his bed and asked the parsar tell those two pa- uh, paramhansas from kach to go further away they are disturbing my sleep so maharaj even woke up at night as the words from the heart of those both krishna jan mulji touched maharaj heart and that is why maharaj woke up at night and he instructed the parsar <coughs> push them more away as they were singing devotional songs i cannot sleep how how would it be possible for him to sleep when the two devotees devotees and sincere friends were pulling maharaj from within because of their acute faith they had to be purified and only maharaj was capable of doing that the night passed and a uh, new day dawn the following night krishna jan mulji continued their singing mara said these two kachis are not giving up the parsas given uh, the parsas again went and told them to go further away into the woods then mulji retired mulji gave a reply we are already in the woods so we'll just stay here and sing then he added it is only because of maharaj's wish that we are sitting this far away otherwise we are kachis and would have exercised our strength to, on you but now that we are maharaj sadhus we are given up flexing our muscles all together so now as the parsas arrived to krishna jan mulji and he instructed both of them please do not stay here you are disturbing maharaj at night as you are singing bhajans maharaj could not sleep so go away from here go in the jungles do not stay here then both krishna jan mulji they replied to the parsas we are kachis and we are staying here on the outskirts of the village even on the opposite side of the gela river and we are staying here only because of maharaj command otherwise we are kachis we have too much strain we two are enough for 50 parsas 
so if you understand our language if you understand something from our mind please go back to maharaj and enjoy his darshan then the parsas written and the reply to maharaj maharaj this was happening the parsa drush to krishna and murji and brought, uh, when maharaj heard of this he said the two are really very determined then chanting his tone maharaj praised them the two kachi paramhansas are singing with true heartfelt devotion it is because of this that i am being drawn to them they have both suffered much misery for me go and call them here the parsas rushed to krishna janmulji and brought them to maharaj seeing them in the distance even maharaj got up from his seat and began and rushed towards them he ran to them and embraced them both with great affection the two friends then prostrated to maharaj turning to everyone present maharaj explained i have insulted these two like dogs yet they have persisted in their loving devotion this is what maharaj wanted to show the other devotees and santo that even i treated them like dogs even though they have resolved that this is bhagwan even though they have no any other desire but to become a sant and still i did not make them sant easily and even i have tested their resolve in many other ways still they did not change their minds and even they did not have any kind of bad thought for me that why maharaj is doing this kind of behavior with us and they have happily doing bhajan singing devotional songs for me so the next day maharaj formally initiated them into paramhansa's fold he named one sarvagyanand swami and appointed him as the mahant of amdavad mandir and the other whom he named kansyamanand swami and sent him to junagadh so throughout their lives this this both paramhansa they saw the satsang as well as maharaj despite their separate lives thereafter they were always remember as a pair as according to maharaj's command they both were separated one is uh, one has to stay in amdavad mandir as well as the other has to stay in junagadh mandir there were very far distance between amdavad and junagadh now after that even in satsang the other paramhansa other devotees they all knew both of them as uh, the staunch friends whenever intense faith determination and courage is required the story of these two friends provides in inspiration to all of the devotees as well as santos and especially who would want to become a sant these stories of krishna janmulji is very useful to inspire themselves to become a sant whatever disturbances whatever obstacles come in their path to attain bhagwan all are become like nothing as one listen the story of krishna janmulji puja guruji had also uh discourse on this story of krishna janmulji many years ago and we have a chance to listen that puja guruji's katha so by as maharaj himself narrating the story of krishna janmulji by this incident we can resolve in our life whatever kind of situation bhagwan himself give us in our life or even today as bhagwan is not in human form for us bhagwan said puja guruji so even though guruji santo or even other devotees they create any problematic problematic situation in our life at the time at least we have to think in our mind that this is all because of maharaj's desire and maharaj want to taste my resolve maharaj want to taste my steadiness 
in such kind of situation and even more than that maharaj want to train me in such a way that even though in future i will have to face even more uh, even more difficult situation in my life then maharaj today want to train me giving me such kind of situation after resolving such in the faith of bhagwan puja bad guru ji and each and every santo and devotee let me pray to maharaj maharaj please give us such understanding in our heart that whenever and whatever time we attain such kind of adverse situation in our life even from um, yourself or from uh, guru ji or santo or any other even ordinary devotees also then at that time we understand that this is all because of your desire you want to taste our result and we behave according to your code and conduct according to your laws and as we are behaving with you we behave with the all other santos and devotees please give us such strength shri ganeshyam maharaj ni jai shri patim shri dharam sarvadeveshwaram bhakti dharmatmajam vasudevam har माधव केशव कामद कारण स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भजे श्रीघनश्याम 